my DA sander broke in the middle of that. But it's okay because that was my first coat of fiberglass filler. I'm using this filler to kind of build up some strength in this skirt on the outside. Um, and so I just roughed all of that up and then mixed some more and went over the whole thing again. So my joint is right here in the center. So my thought is I'm going to build this up kind of over that joint, kind of make that joint disappear, um, as well as add strength to this. I really like the way this is coming out, this little step back that I did. It worked really well. So from here, I'm going to go get another DA sander, sand this down, get it really smooth. Then we'll bondo it um, a few times and kind of knock down all the high spots and fill in all the low spots, and we should have a side skirt. So it'll go into primer and go back on the car, and we can move on to the next project. This thing is huge. Like, I don't know if you can... So that's the size of my hand. It goes on forever. But it's a really cool piece. I'm actually really excited about it. Um, some things I'm going to have to do when it is complete is kind of down here. I'm going to have to fill this in, make a fiberglass piece to go back there, and kind of reinforce all the joints and stuff. But overall, I think it's going to work really well. Um, it's going to mount inside the door. So I made this flange on the top. So that's where it will mount. And then also some double-sided tape right down here uh, will hold it on. So it should be really well stuck on there. This is going to be a more permanent piece than the flares. Um, I'm going to mount it like a standard side skirt. But overall, very happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and finish this one all the way out for this video. I don't know if I'll do the other one in this video. I may just do it off camera so I can knock it out real quick. Um, but I want to show you guys this entire process and then move on to whatever's next. fiberglass up inside of there so I'll cut away probably like I don't know somewhere in here and um, that way the door will shut and I can have a lip to mount this to because this is gonna have to get mounted inside of that door so that it's strong enough um, really I mean to stand on but strong enough to not wobble or, or shake or anything like that it looks it looks really cool I ended up creating some really cool lines that I wasn't really planning on doing which is kind of what happens with these things um, so, you know, you got like this line here that carries down the door and then you got this line that came out of kind of nowhere that is uh, created by the, the kind of bulge of the side skirt and then it goes out and goes down through here. You've got a line here that follows the line on the uh, fender. It'll actually be up a little bit too, so it's tilted down, so it's kind of, kind of just got it sat on there. Um, and then there's a really cool section right here. We got like this triangle kind of a, the cut back here. There's a line here and a line there. So that's going to be really interesting to look at as well. Overall, <clears throat> converting it to four doors instead of just doing the two door is going to take about a month extra. So uh, bear with me. It's a lot of body work, but we're going to do it. We're going to make it good. And I think this is going to be the right direction. This, this side skirt really does look cool. It's going to be the most custom piece on this car for sure. As you can see the width we're adding to the car in that which is cool so when you open this door up I really think it's gonna be a cool look because you'll open the door up and this is gonna wrap inside of here probably to this silver spot so kinda of like right there and uh, and mount in right there and then it also mounts underneath on the bottom but you'll see this huge step out here you'll have like a massive piece here I'm gonna have to build some fiberglass right here just to kinda of close this off and give that a little bit more strength so it's not wobbly and then You'll also have the huge wide piece here that comes off the door. So that's going to be the really cool shot from this car is when you get this back door open and see all of the bodywork and all of the width and all that cool stuff. Another cool thing about it is you'll see this tire sticks out. So when you open the back door, you're going to see tire like this much tire like out to here, which is going to be really cool. I'm actually really excited about it. So way to go, guys that voted for four doors. Yes, it's a lot more work. Bear with me. It's I, I really do think it's going to take about a month longer than I expected because of the four doors. Um, a month to get the side skirts done.
to get the fenders done and get the doors cut and all that cool stuff. But I do think it will be worth it. So I'm going to take a break from sanding and uh, I'm actually in the middle of doing the suspension right now. So I'm going to go do that. Then I'll come back and sand some more. So that's our part. It is not done, uh, but it's close. It's got basically 90% of the body work done. I've still got to go back and I'll probably skim it. I might skim the whole thing, but I may just skim my trouble areas with some Bondo um, and straighten out my lines and all that stuff. But overall, the lines look really good, pretty straight. Ultimately, I won't really know until it's on the car what I need to do. So I've got to trim this... Uh, this lip off because the doors aren't going to close with that. It's a cool looking piece. I'm looking, I'm seeing a, a few curves and stuff in my line, so I'll have to come back and straighten those out. But this was a piece that I was not planning on building. Like this is a whole fabrication project that I did not know I was going to have to do. So I'm happy that it's uh, that it's done on this side. I've still got to do the other side. I think I'm going to do that off camera just to speed the process up a little bit. Um, I'm going to go back and reinforce behind this thing on all my joints like I have throughout the entire build just to make sure everything stays strong. And then we'll mount it to the car, and I think I'm gonna finish body working it on the car. I think that's gonna be the easiest way to do it. So, there you go, one side skirt. So I went back behind the seam and reinforced it with some drywall, uh, kind of repair tape this woven fiber. It feels very similar to fiberglass but It's very thick very strong and so I've reinforced that down this seam and then pushed all of that filler into it So it should make a really strong kind of bond. That's just insurance It felt really strong the piece feels really strong But that's just a little bit of insurance and then I went back and did this seam from the back as well Just again for insurance and I think that's going to be the end of this part So now after this dries the part will go back on the car and the rest of the bodywork will be done when I finish off the car and do all of the bodywork before paint. All right, so I've got the side skirt thrown up here. And right now it's only got two points that it's mounted underneath uh, back there and then this one screw here. Um, the Rocket Money kits, ooh, that's touching, we'll have to cut that. Um, the Rocket Money kits put screws every 10 inches. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do. Starting with this one, I'll just go 10 which is probably going to put me one in the middle and then one right there. So let's just see where that puts me actually. Can I change my plan on camera? Yeah, I'm going to. So what I'm going to do is go over here. I have a last place where I know it's touching. So about right here. I'm going to put the screw. And then we'll just split that difference. Side skirt's mounted. I've got some trimming to do. It's rubbing right there, so I'm gonna come down and just trim this line out all the way down the fender so it's straight. Here it's not, it's not, it's probably an eighth of an inch from the door. Here it goes up underneath the door, so we definitely don't want that touching. And then the back door. Ugh actually won't close with this skirt on if you look it kind of rolls up over and I need this here for strength um, so I need to be able to mount you know I'm thinking like two or three right here because this is a dad wagon and so kids are probably gonna try to stand on this at least once or twice so I want to make sure it's very strong so I've got to leave this so what I'm gonna do is just trim the bottom of this door off wherever it's interfering and hopefully, well, I say that, hopefully I'll be able to trim the bottom of the door off. If not, we'll come up with a plan B. All right, so now the driver's door opens and shuts like it always has. I'm not sure how long this video is because I've been filming it over such a long period of time, but basically 
about right here, there. this used to be the front fender, so the BMW front fender was actually this long, so I shortened it. Um, and then I attached these two here, and then the rear fender obviously came down to about right here, and that's been attached too. So made a whole new piece out of it. All of this from this line up is stuff that I made, um, and it works pretty well. So I'm going to pull this rear fender section off and try to make sure I can get this door open um, without having to do any sort of like welding or fabrication. All right, that is it for the side skirts. The, the driver's side is done. I'm gonna do the passenger side while I'm working on a few other things because it just takes so much dry time between laying fiberglass and filler and things like that. It takes a lot of time just to wait. And so I'm just gonna do it while I'm doing some other fiberglass projects on this car. Um, the fiberglass is coming to an end. I know it doesn't look like it right now, but I am getting very close to an end. Wheels are on the way. And so once the wheels get on here, I'll be able to make some like final decisions. Right now I'm kind of having to build uh, with expectation of change and so once the wheels are on there I'm gonna make some final decisions and lock everything down I learned a valuable lesson with this build and that is start with wheels and suspension and then build the wide body kit But we'll do that next time. It'll go a lot faster um, But I am coming to an end on this build. I got a few more body working projects that I think you guys are really gonna like um, and then it's performance Maintenance and interior and those will be just three videos one for the performance one for the maintenance one for the interior, and then this thing will be ready to be given away. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, and I've gotta paint it, but you know, that's easy, we'll do that. Shout out to the Patreon crew. Every single one of you guys is so awesome. Thank you so much for supporting this build and pushing this thing forward. Special shout out to Dan, Richard, Lewis, Pat, Braxton, all you guys that are real involved on the Patreon. Thank you so much for keeping up, for watching all the lens clips and all that stuff. And, and just keeping up with the build and what we're doing. And thank you so much for your support. That is literally pushing this build forward, pushing it forward faster, and you guys are awesome. Listen, if you're interested in supporting this build or supporting this channel, uh, the easiest way to do that is through Patreon. I just do a $5 a month donation, and some guys donate more than that, and that's cool. Um, but all it does is gives you an opportunity to really pour into this and pour into this channel, and it gives you a way to really make a huge difference in this build. It really does make a huge difference. To give an example, one of the donations from the Patreon crew are the headlights. So Excite Lighting built them, but the patrons paid for them. So those headlights are there because of Patreon. And there's some new stuff, some surprises that the patrons have donated as well too that I haven't shown on camera yet. So thank you guys so much. If you are interested, go check out patreon.com slash built and you can support this build and this channel. I want to give another shout out to Three Wheels One Blog. He's a guy that follows me on Instagram and just started his own YouTube channel, so go check that out. He's building a Nova and it's pretty rad. At least I think it's a Nova. I don't know, I'm not a big muscle car guy. I love him, I just don't know a lot about him. I'm pretty sure it's a Nova, it's flat black, it's cool, go check it out. Um, but he has sent me some sandpaper. He heard I was getting ready to paint this thing and gave, sent me a box of sandpaper to help get it ready. And I'm really, really excited about it because sandpaper gets expensive because I buy so much of it. Um, he's also the guy that sent me the blocks for block sanding. So he's been a huge help for this build. So go support him, go support his channel. I would really appreciate that. If you guys want to send me something, you can send it to P.O. Box 8, Gadsden, Alabama 35902. So if you have like something you think I can use for the build, like sandpaper or tools, or if you just have something cool that you like that you want to send me, like Hot Wheels cars or <laughs> something like that you think is awesome that you want to send to me. Um, I've gotten drawings. Phil with Super sent me a, a drawing of my car, which was really awesome. I love getting that kind of mail. I love getting stuff from the community. So um, send it to that address and I will be able to get it. Listen, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for keeping up with this build. Thank you so much for watching this channel. This car is going to be given away and uh, it could be you that wins it. So that's going to be happening very soon. I'll be revealing the details on how that's going to happen very soon. So make sure you stay tuned. Keep up, hit that notification bell, hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed yet so you can see this thing in all of its glory when it's done. See you later.